What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be tying and fishing this gold minnow pattern that I came up with. It's been really effective as you'll see at the end of the video where I use it to catch some nice crappie. So for this jig, I'm using a 1 16th ounce freestyle jig head on a size 4 hook. I powder painted that with Protect Disco Gold and I put a 5mm 3D yellow eye on there. For the thread, I'm using a 6 aught white uni thread. Just starting that thread behind the head and taking it down to the point of the hook. For the tail, I'm using a single cream marabou feather. Just going to run my fingers up the feather from the stem and this will straighten out the tips. Then we can measure that so that it'll be about the length of the hook. If it's a really fluffy feather, it might be a little difficult to tame it down, but if you pinch it in place right there at the point of the hook, it should stay in place. After you get a few good wraps, you can let go of that and tie the butt end the rest of the way up to the head. Once you got it up at the head, you can pull that out of the way and clip it off as close as you can. Then we're going to go over these fluffy fibers with our thread, clean that up, and tie it down tight back to the tail. Straighten it out if you need to. And I'm just going to use these holographic gold flashaboo fibers. I'm just going to tie two of those in on each side of the jig. Just pinch them in right there just like you did with the marabou. And then once you got that tied in tight, you can flip them around to the other side and hold them in place on the opposite side of the jig as you tie those down tight. This will just ensure that we have two pieces on each side. Then we want to cut those to length, so we're just going to pull them and cut them right past the tips of the marabou. Then bring our thread back up to the head. For the body, I'm going to be using this tinsel chenille. This is large gold by Wapsi. I bought this at Sportsman's Warehouse. I'm just going to take a piece of that, tie the tag end in at the head, and tie the rest of the chenille down to the tail. Once you got it tied down tight, bring your thread back up to the head, and you can start wrapping the chenille. Make sure it's clear of any of the tail fibers, and just use the rotary function of the vise to bring that chenille up to the head. If you want, you can pull the previous fibers back with every turn, but with this one I don't think it's really necessary, just because it'll give it a slimmer body if you don't bulk it up by really compacting the turns. So once you got that tied in at the head, you can just tie it down tight and cut the tag end. Then we're going to do a, any cleanup work that we need to, just to keep the fibers off of the head. And then whip finish. Pull the thread tight and clip it off. So that's all there is to it. This is the gold minnow. It does mimic a golden shiner or other small bait fish that have a gold or cream color. So now I'm going to take this one out and catch some crappie. I fished it jigging it off the bottom and then I also fished it under a bobber. So I hope you enjoy the footage.
thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. We'll see you next time.